Good morning, and what a beautiful morning it is this morning. Um, <clears throat> it's the first time I've had a chance, I've been a little bit ill last week, <clears throat> it's the first time I've had a chance to come down to the little place in Sagrish and see how it's going. I've got here today, it's a beautiful full moon today, in the morning, as you can probably see. Absolutely beautiful. We have a full moon on one side. The area is as always peaceful and beautiful. A little bit greener than usual because of all the rain we've had for a couple of weeks ago. And the sun is just coming up on the other side now. So I'm going to actually set up here this morning and do some work on the pond and see if I can get a bit of photography in. But what a wonderful day in nature. Well, I'm in my hide now. I've set up, it's taken me about half an hour. I had to go off and get some more, uh, some more water. The pond was, well the top pond was literally completely empty, it was down to the sand. And the bottom pond was nearly to the bottom, so luckily I managed to go to the, one of the local garages and I managed to pick up about 200 litres of water and I've topped everything up now so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, the birds are already rushing back to the pond because of the water because there was none here. So we'll see what happens today. With any luck, we might even get a couple of rarities. Both the male and the female linnet here both come having a bath. You can see the difference with the red chest on the male and uh, the dappled chest on the female, both taking a bath. <laughs> a beautiful surprise has just turned up at the pond. Uh, look, here, there he is, a wryneck. It's, they're quite unusual here. They're, they're, well, they are around, but they're very rare to see. Beautiful bird, very unusual bird. just came for a drink obviously there's been no water around here so and he's off absolutely everything has just turned up I've just had here now as you can see I've counted 24 so far goldfinch there's been no water here so obviously as soon as I put the water in they've come over it's incredible Birds come to make the most of the water that I put in. <laughs> Beautiful. I do love watching them have a bath. It's so sweet. And that's it. He'll probably jump back in in a second though. No, doesn't look like it. Yep, there he goes. And the second round. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, everything's rushing here for the water, because the fresh water this morning, so it's beautiful. It should be a very good day. I mean, the Rynex already been over for a drink, so he's obviously quite thirsty as well. There you go. Little green finch here come for a drink as well. There's quite a few of them actually. Obviously you'll miss the pond having fresh water. So everyone's around here at the moment. Beautiful. So cute watching them. There we go. Taking his fill. little pied white tail just turned up. He's a 
flitty little bird. They never, that, that you can see why they're called white tails. Is their tail never stops moving. I think it's a young one. Looking at the lack of black on the head. Something's just startled him because he's looked up. Oh, there's another one there. That's why. There was another one that just turned up next to him. I didn't see it. And he's going to carry on. Lovely little bird, though. Pied wagtail. No. Another wagtail there. As you can see, the darker colours. This is a much darker colour on the head. It's got the black head and the black chest. It may even be a Urelli, I'm not sure. She's one of the northern pied wagtails. There's not a normal visitor for the pond. It's a starling. And he's just... There was three of them just now, actually. Lovely bird, the starling. Beautiful colours. And obviously the blue magpie is there here now as well. I didn't put any food out. I put the, um, the seeds out, so hopefully they won't stay too long. And, uh, I think they've actually found the seed tray. Yep, they found it. <laughs> and they're into the seeds as well. things are here. There's a, I've taken out the smaller camera to give a wide angle. And as you can see, they're absolutely everywhere. There must have been about a hundred of them turned up, I would think. Linnets just turned up as well for a drink now. There's a couple of linnets here. There's one having a drink and one having a bath. So it's been a lot of birds coming this morning. It's quite incredible. Obviously, the lack of water has made everyone want to come here. There's the other one feeding on some of the seeds. Searle bunting has just turned up here as well. Haven't seen one for a while. He's come for a drink, or she, a drink and a bath. There we go. Beautiful little bird. It's found a spot and that's it. Well, it's one you haven't actually seen on the videos for a while. It's been about, well just the first time I've been down here this month, or this year actually, in January. It's already the 10th, and the first time I've actually got down here. But for the last end of December, I haven't seen the cell bunting, I have no idea what happened to them. But they seem to be back again. Lovely bird, as with all of them, but these ones, they're lovely. Chiff Chaff has just turned up, a couple of them here actually. So that six have turned up together. And he's going to keep jumping back and forth as they always do. But this one might stay in the same spot for a while, because it looks like he's going to come for a drink or a bath, so. No, he's off. <laughs> Skittish little Okay, I've uh, I left the hide and left the area. Uh, the blue magpies, there was too many of them in the area, so I decided to come down to the docks and show you this area. It's a beautiful area. It's, uh, it's on the pier, or on the dock side, in Sagres. You often get some nice birds down here. 
um, had the rock dip it down here and the, uh, the purple sand pipe as well. So we'll see what we have here now. Okay, well, the docks were pretty quiet, it's a bit windy down there. So I've just come back, I'm going to go and sh I'm gonna show you the pictures from this morning now. Let me just quickly turn this round. There we go. Hopefully it'll focus quickly. Oh, it's turned off, typical. Go in. There we go. What have we got here? Um, now we started off the morning in the hide with... Ah, there we go. What's that? Meadow Pipit. And then we have a blackbird, the stone shat. Um, what else did we have this morning? Oh, we had a couple of lovely shots of other ones. The green finch, a meadow pipit again, and then we had the what do you call it? The finch, the common finch. Robin. Oh, and then we had this little fellow turn up, which was lovely. Very difficult to see because he's almost the colour of the wood. But it was the rye neck. Lovely bird. I always liked the rye neck. Had a nice video of him, a little bit, as you saw earlier. But I got some nice shots of him as well. Um, then we had. Uh, what did we have here? Oh, we had a goldfinch, another one, and then over the back, a little way away, a bit difficult to see, but we had a missile thrush there as well, over the back, we had a song thrush, there was missile thrush mostly though, oh and we had a black red star which was nice, uh, sorry a common red star as you can see the, um, the white head already coming on for the male for the winter color for the, for the colors beautiful uh, robin a normal a black red start instead then we have the thrush again the missile thrush it's a little bit better picture this time a little bit closer he came closer to the pond we had a black start with Thecklers as always. <coughs> the, the Pied Wagtail. Um, Chiff Chaff turned up as well. Oh, that was nice. A little surprise. I've seen one of them on the pond for a while. I had a starling there. Uh, and of course, obviously. Then these guys turned up and scared everything off <laughs> and ate all the food as usual. So I got a few pictures of them this morning as well. And once they turned up I decided to leave. <coughs> there was uh, Linnet there as well, turned up just after. And when I got down to the docks, where are we here a little bit further? Oh, I also had one other thing here which turned up which was quite nice. I was haven't seen him for a while. There we go. A little curl bunting turned up there as well, which is beautiful. I like the curl bunting. Lovely coloured bird. Lovely bird. Um, and then I came down to the docks, as you know. Um, oh, I had also had this here. This flew over the hide while I was there. It's a rock, uh, a rock swallow. And then we had a lapwing over the back as well. And on the way to the docks I saw the little owl. And then we had the, the common sandpiper and the stern and the turnstone. And that was basically it on the docks, those two. There was a few other things. There was a shag down there, which I couldn't get a picture. He flew off too quick. And also the um, the great cormorant, and also there was one sitting on the roof of one of the houses. Again, a little bit long way away. Uh, a blue rock thrush as well. So 
uh, all in all, it was quite a nice trip down to the docks. This morning in the Hyde, as always, is beautiful, and as always, an absolutely wonderful day in nature. So, I'm going to call it a day today. The wind's building up, and I'm going to go off home. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye.